I don't even know what I'm doing with my life because I'm so tired and I'm just here and I'm like, what am I even gonna say? I don't know what I'm doing with this video. I'm just like, ugh. I want some chocolate and some tea. Hello humans! Last week I went to a wonderful event called Bookfest. Now I've mentioned Bookfest in a few of my videos, actually like both of my previous videos and also the blog post that I blogged and um, yeah, it's kind of everywhere in my internet sphere at the moment. And I'm sure that some of you are sitting there thinking, what the hell is Bookfest? And I would not blame you for asking that question because I haven't really explained it at all anywhere on the sphere of the internet. If you have never, ever, ever heard of Bookfest, you are a very unfortunate person. Here in Australia, we have a secondhand store called Lifeline. They're a charity, basically. So you can kind of like go and donate your secondhand stuff to them and then they'll resell it and their profits will go to the charity. And Lifeline evidently gets a lot of books because once a year, I'm pretty sure it travels all around Australia and we have the Lifeline Book Fest. Basically, you kind of just walk in to the two convention halls that it takes up. You choose one of three sections. First section, everything in it is $1. $1. $1. The next section, everything in it is $2.50. And then of course you have the third section, which is of course the high quality section. In this section, everything is the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme. Everything is individually marked with their prices, so you can't just go in and be like, hey, pick up 10 books, cool, that's like $50. No, you pick up 10 books, it's probably gonna be like $150. So anyway, that's Bookfest in a nutshell. It's the kind of the greatest thing. This book first, I got a lot of stuff. I spent like $85. Sorry? I can't even tell you how much stuff I got because I don't even know. So today I'm gonna to be showing you some of the best buys from Bookfest. Get excited. So the first first buy of the day was Does My Head Look Big In This by Rhonda Abdel Fattah. Uh, I actually heard Rhonda speak last year at Brisbane Writers Festival and she was an amazing person and I've been wanting to pick this up for ages but I've just never seen it anywhere and then I saw it and I was like cool I'm buying you you come with me this book is basically about a young lady called Amal I'm sorry if I said that name wrong she's 16 and she's an Australian Palestinian Muslim it's basically about her trying to find her identity as a teenager I think but also while uh, being a Muslim and all that kind of good stuff the next best buy was Fallen by Lauren Kate I actually have no idea what this book's about. I haven't even read the blurb of it, but I've seen it in a prized possession on uh, this booktuber that I follow, his bookshelf. And I was like, hey, that cover looks cool. And I've seen other people reading it and I'm like, I'll give it a go. I feel like it might be a vamp, oh, it's angels. Some angels are destined to fall. I thought it was vampire, but maybe not. It's fallen angels. It is, it's fallen angels. It's not vampires. I thought it might've been vampires, but it's not. The next best buy is Harry Potter and Chamber of the Secrets, but look at this cover! I've never seen this cover to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets before, and it's just, it's just beautiful. Like, like just look at it. Look at it, appreciate it, marvel at it. It's just so gorgeous. I'm probably gonna end up with like three sets of the Harry Potter books by the time I'm 20, because I just... I love all the covers! The next best buy was this book, which is The Great Big Glorious Book for Girls by Rosemary Davidson and Sarah Vine. Lads, cover your eyes. <laughs> I just exposed you to the femininity of fem females. It's just, it's just great. I saw it and I was like, the cover, again, is beautiful. Basically, it just has a whole, like all these different sections of things in it of things that you can learn about. So there's stuff about needle craft and food and spring and makeup and hair and parties and winter and craft. So yeah, there's party ideas, there's book reviews, there's like magic tricks. There's things to do in different seasons. There's recipes. Like this is the kind of book that I'm going to be reading with my daughter because I'm going to have a daughter. I know that even though I'm 15. What kind of kids are you going to have? You better know because I know so you must. If you're not catching my sarcasm here, you should probably not be at this channel because this channel used to be a lot of sarcasm. 
The next book I got is Jade Pickolt's The Tenth Circle. One of my dear friends, Teresa, is absolutely obsessed with Jodie Pickold, and I was like, cool, let's go for it. I'll put that pages. Basically, all my book first buys were, that looks interesting, or that person's read that, or that has a nice cover, so I'll buy it. Which probably explains how I spent $85. Sorry. I'm keen to read another one of her books, because I read My Sister's Keeper, and it was beautiful. Um, so I'm keen to, yeah, get into the Jodie Pickold wave of goodness. But yes, guys, those are my favourite buys from Bookfest. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be a link to a blog post down below in the description box, not annotated because I tried that last week and it didn't work because stupid YouTube, whatever. And that blog post is going to have a list of everything I bought at Bookfest. So yeah, guys, that's all I have to say today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on Friday for a Fangirl Friday. I'm going to be reviewing Perfected by Kate Javik Birch, so I will see you all then. I love you all and goodbye. I bought some Vogue magazines because I'm like stylish as heck. That's why I buy Vogue. Because one day I'm going to be in it. Actually not at all. Um, yeah. Basically I got a lot of stuff. <laughs>